Hi, I'm Rebecca Brand, and today we're making apple pancakes. This is a really great kids recipe, so bring them into the kitchen for this one. The ingredients for the dish are apples, eggs, milk, flour, baking powder, salt, sugar, and melted butter. And then more butter for our grilling pan. Because I always like to cook fast because I want to hurry up and eat, I'm going to start melting my butter. And the secret to this is melting it on very low while you do the rest of your mixing of the batter. Let's get our batter ready. So I'm going to use two eggs in this batter, which is really twice the normal pancake batter. But when I cook for my kids, I want to add a little extra protein. And the extra eggs makes that batter much lighter. It's a trick and it's a secret, one that I've developed over many years. Whip them around, break up the yolks. And then to that, we're gonna add three quarters of cup milk. I am making the most simple of pancake batter recipes. You don't have to have buttermilk in the house because I never do. I hardly ever use buttermilk. So this recipe uses plain old white milk, yay. Now look how easy this little cleanup is with my eggs. I get to wipe my little fingers off from all that sticky mess and this goes in the trash. Bingo. <laughs> Here's another trick for a one bowl mess. The object of this game is having this one cup of flour mixed in with our other dry ingredients. Okay, so to do that, we're gonna put him in one big plop in the center of our bowl. Just like that. On top of Mr. Flour pile, we're gonna add one tablespoon of baking powder. Right in the center there. We're gonna add half a teaspoon of salt. Aim, shoot, fire and one tablespoon of sugar. Same old deal, aim, shoot, fire. With a fork, we're going to carefully, sweetly mix all those dry ingredients up in Mr. Flour Island floating on those eggs. Isn't that great? I didn't have to dirty up another bowl. I'm so happy with this. So as I lightly mix, I'm adding in two tablespoons of oil but I'm a butter girl, so this is butter in this recipe. I love the rich taste of butter. I always try to go with butter rather than oil, but oil is less expensive, so whatever you have around, it's great. So then just mix this up. The trick to having super airy, fluffy pancakes is not over mixing. So I'm just getting those ingredients wet, and when I see little islands of the flour, then I'll continue to mix. But that's really gonna be about it for me. See, that's done. Inspector Clouseau has to check this out. Good, I'm ready. I see those bubbles. Oh my gosh, that's great. The bubbles mean I've got Action Jackson on that baking powder. Woohoo! So make sure you wash your apples. You don't want any pesticides in your beautiful food. I love this recipe because it's almost like an apple fritter. So what you need to do is cut your apples, and I want the round circular design on it. It makes it really pretty. So I'm cutting this apple about 1 8 to 1 quarter inch thick. Can you see that? That's what I want for my thickness because I want that apple to get soft the same amount of time it takes that pancake to cook. Now that's the art of this dish. You don't want a crunchy apple, you want a soft apple in your pancake. So one eighth to one quarter is it. Any fatter than that, and it's gonna be hard. Be really careful cutting this apple to not get your fingers. It's kind of hard. You kind of have to wedge in your knife a little tiny bit until it gets in the groove. As I get closer to the bottom of it, it gets harder to cut. Now this knife is a scary looking knife to me. I am gonna switch utensils. Here we go. So to start it, you're gonna cut a little bit of pocket, like a groove. Okay, so there your knife is like set in the groove and then with your fingers way away from that knife, you're going to then press down and cut your slice and there you go. Now I want to get the core out. So with a knife, I'm going to cut that out. Don't need that. Twirl, twirl. Get him out. This guy's got just a little bit of core. He's easier. And this one doesn't have any seeds. He's good to go. He came with a flower shape in his design. <laughs> Done. We're ready to cook. So my pan had slowly melted this butter without any burning because it was on low. Now we crank up that heat to medium high. 
and swirl around your butter. I'm gonna make three apple pancakes at a time. So I put my little apples evenly spaced in that pan right on top of that butter, like that. Now that's gonna to start to cook a little bit as that pan gets hotter. So I take a quarter cup of the batter, I hear it sizzle, and I pour the quarter cup of batter over that apple. And I go slowly, because I'd like to be a circle if I can make it. And then go to the next one. Right on top. And number three, here we go. Don't fuss with it, leave it there, and let's let it cook. What we want are the bubbles to come up. Then we'll know it's time to flip. So we see the bubbles on the edges. This is good. All that baking powder is having some action in there. Yay. So it's going to take about three minutes per side to cook this. Do not rush that flip. You can see the action with the baking powder. That's awesome. Those little bubbles are rising to the top. That's giving us all that air in that pancake. Because it needs extra heat for that apple to cook, I'm going to now turn my stove on to medium. Okay, I see that those bubbles are getting dry. That means it's time to flip. For a perfect flip, I usually keep a second spatula handy. Ooh, look at that. Look at that apple. What pretty color. Oh, I'm happy with that. Do not press it down. If you do that, you're going to lose all that air in that fluffy pancake. You want them as high and light as possible. This guy looks ready now, too. Shove this one over and flip. Oh, yeah. And number three. Pretty. Can never have enough butter. So I'm adding some at this point. Oops, he's getting away. Let's check the bottom. Oh my gosh, that looks perfect. We are done. Heat off. These look so good. Look at my stack of apple pancakes. How pretty is that? Wow, look at that. Those apples are tender and soft. This is such a great breakfast for kids. They get their fruit and they get their pancake. Let's take a bite. All that hot syrup, oh my gosh. Huh. Mm. That's amazing. Subscribe to my channel and let's keep cooking together. If you make these at home, take a picture. <laughs> Put it on my Facebook, I'd love to see it. Comment, write to me, and let's keep cooking. <sighs> mm. Bon appetit.